Okay. Um, we'll just go around the room for a quick roll call. Justin Ledoux, we'll School Business Administrator. Uh, Mike Lucas, School Superintendent. Gordon Cook, 11 Ross and Ave. John Hill, Two Common Road. Ron LeBlanc, Gordon Sutton. Steve Anderson, 22 Old People Road. Tony Sousa, Town Planner. And Roger McCarthy, uh, Chair. Okay. Um, so, uh, Superintendent Lucas is uh, agreed to come meet with us. Talk about some goals of um, the Boxer Public Schools. I'll just open it up to you, and uh, I don't know if you'd rather people ask questions as we go. Or sure, you guys can actually. We weren't really, really sure what you wanted us here for. We just were invited. I'm not sure what you wanted us here to do. Talk about future planning of buildings, maybe, or building usage, or um, we're trying to, you know, obviously provide the best education possible for our students and staff. Working hard to do that. Um, so we're excited for the school year that's about to come up upon us and um, we're pretty much ready to roll finalizing staffing and getting everybody ready so we're excited uh, August 29th the staff will come back um, for professional development day and the 30th we start with, with our students um, so we're excited for that so but I'm happy to answer any questions that you're planning for the future so happy to contribute at the discussion or if we can Justin's here with me as well so we're happy to answer questions or comments. Does anybody? Yeah, uh, I, have, I, I just want to let you know the master plan committee. The purpose of our committee is to deal with the physical and economic development of the community. Okay. So, as far as the school goes, I think we're only interested in the state of the, uh, the buildings. The okay. Buildings that we have. Yep. Um, I've met with the town manager. We know that there are a number of issues that roofs, and foundations, and siding, um, and we need to get all those things done. Yep. Um, and I know she's applying for some grant money. Hopefully, we'll get some of that money back. I guess one of the questions is, Mike, is that we have, we've looked at the capacity of the four buildings. I think it's like 3,000 people. We have like 1,500. I guess one of the things is that if you guys look at maybe going to three buildings or two buildings, and again, we're not asking you to do this, but right. has anybody started that process of maybe going to less buildings? That may not even be an option. Yeah, it's, but I think that's a it's not an option right now. And obviously, we're here without the school committee. The school committee would have to be the ones to make all these decisions. Right. Obviously, just to make sure we understand that. Right. Um, it is something we could consider down the road. Look down the road. Right now, we're pretty much at full capacity um, for the most part. Um, we're fully staffed, and we have kids pretty much in every room that we're using. Mm -hmm. There's a few open rooms at the high school, not many, but otherwise, all the other classrooms are being utilized right now. Um, Bart and Chafee in the middle school. We just moved the eighth grade from the high school to the middle school, so the middle school now had four grades. There's no open rooms in the middle school. Um, so we so you answered the question. Okay. Thank you. All right. There you go. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. Well, here's the situation, uh, you know, looking at the utilization going forward. Right. We've got a couple of issues. One, we've got a continually declining enrollment. You know that. What is it, average? They were 20 to 50 a year. In addition to that, we have a teacher shortage. Right. So we're looking at what are we going to do with the, the old high school or the middle school? You yep. know, we had a request for seven point seven and a half million dollars, but not the state didn't entertain it. Right. We want to come back and was gutting the building. Right. Looking at if we were to do something with that building, uh, how could we do it so it'd be we could move some classrooms, one of either Jakey or Barton, we're not saying which one right. in the future. Because that's what we're talking about over the next four to five years, how we can do that uh, and incorporate that into a, a basically a new presence at that footprint. Right. And when we redesign and, and remodel that building, also allow for future expansion. Right. You know, whether it's a wing in the back, a wing on the side, and using common areas. You know, I look at what Webster's doing. They're building a hundred million, hundred one million high school yep. today. You start looking at schools and you don't label them. I mean, you're building a school building, not a high school, not a great school because of the fluctuation and the demographic changes, right? So that you can accommodate, but we need classrooms. The question is, do we have staff to fill it, to, to monitor, to, to, to educate those rooms? You know what I'm saying? Right. You build 50 classrooms and you only have 30 teachers, right. 20 are on you. So we're looking at going forward demographically, what, how many classrooms we need, what type of buildings we need, we need to start this dialogue. We don't have the answers. To that. Right. There's no one. Right. There's no one at this table that 
knows the answer, but we can't wait for it to, to knock us in the face because when you look at the indirect cost, which Justin, you provided us, we're looking at $6 million in indirect cost that aren't part of the budget for the school. You take the, you take the chapter 70 money, the 10 million, and you take it away from the 45 million, you're at 35 million. But when you, you look at what DPW provides, the health care for the teachers, the retirement, a lot of the other stuff, uh, it's $6 million. And some of the stuff uh, is, is questionable. I mean, Justin and I talked about it, but it's, it's minor. It's a couple hundred thousand dollars, yeah, under a under million dollars. So it's totally decided. So we're looking at, you look at the budget, and you take the indirect and direct cost of our budget. We're looking to educate 1,568 kids or whatever it is in 141 at day path. We're looking at 60% of our budget, direct and indirect cost combined. Okay, so how do we cut, how do we do that more effectively and efficiently for the, from a facility standpoint? We're not looking to cut someone's budget, but we're looking to make sure that the money goes into the into the classroom. And how do we how do we design a footprint for the future? And how because the buildings were built in '68. 54 and they're wearing right and we're worried about you know how much we're going to keep throwing good money after bad so at some point uh we need to start entertaining how we can migrate and, and and develop something that's more conducive maybe it'll have air conditioning the new renovation uh, we're talking about uh, security we're talking about biometric lock systems all these kinds of things that could be incorporated in a new building which right now to retrofit the existing buildings Chafee and Barton, for an example, would be astronomical, a cost that could even be done, right? So these are the types of, this is the kind of dialogue we have to start and move forward. And that's part of planning, because that's what this committee is all about, planning. So across the state, student enrollment has been down, uh, decreasing across not just our school district, but everywhere. Last year, we actually gained eight students. Um, you know, we've got a COVID factor there, right? right. So the state's a little messed up on its numbers, but the state also actually saw a small increase. Um, we are actually right now, as of today, uh, holding again, we actually have more students moving into Oxford than leaving. Um, so we are going to hold for the third year in a row our That's enrollment figures. Um, so, which is great. Which is great. More kids, the better. We want to educate them. If, if the enrollment start to decline again, about 50 to 75 kids a year in this town, um, then we could probably facilitate a discussion about closing one of the elementary schools. That's years down the road. Well, that's, that's what we're talking that's about. That's going to be years down the road. But if we did yeah. that, where would, where, would we, where would they transition to? And that's what we're we, talking about, the, the we, renovation. We, right. Of, we, of we the have, we'd have to fit K through 4 in one of the buildings or something like that, and the, middle, the rest in the middle school. Exactly. School. We'd have to figure that out. That's but we're just not ready for that yet. For the rehab at 7.5, you said, or 7.2, what exactly did that? It well, what what for they, the middle school? Won't. Okay, so they what one thing they won't cover is any mitigate mitigation as far as asbestos or any uh, contamination. So we would be on the hook when we open up that can of worms. So let's say we we gutted the building down to the stuff just for conversation, and we found asbestos, well, and, and it was a million or two million dollars that they wouldn't sh they wouldn't share in that cost. So that would be on the town. Or that would be a, a terrible surprise, but it could happen. I mean, it, we. We've mitigated the old high school. We, I, I'm going back to Dr. Driscoll, the uh, uh, behind the stage there area. I don't know how many times he came to the finance committee for 150, 200,000. I'm talking about the early 90s, 92, 93. I was on the committee back then. And it was every year, it was another chunk. They found some more, they found some more, they found some more, they found some more. And it was another 200,000 back. And that now, I don't know what it would cost. You know, back then, that was 92. Who knows what it cost now to mitigate? So. I don't, I don't have the answer. I'm just pr proposing, since this is a planning committee, that we need to start looking at how we could, again, not to cut someone's budget, but to, to make sure that the money is not spent in more in the classroom right. and less of facilities. Because yeah. we're going to be, I'm worried that the facilities right now would take off that siding, that we're going to find something behind that siding like they did at the library. And then we're forced, with, we're forced to have to address it. And it could be a can of worms. We're looking at what 1.7 in roofs, and you're looking at the Mass Building Authority, School Building Authority, to share in it to elementary schools. Mm -hmm. and have you heard? Did you meet with them today, or was that Yeah, they came up with a report today. Yeah. Um, we went up on the roof, took a uh, look at some photographs, and asked many questions. Um, but the section of roof that we applied for was the it was last replaced in 1990, so that's why it qualifies for yeah. 
Municipal Building Authority. Um, what what building are you looking at? Both elementary schools. Okay. So both. Uh, so they did a half a roof when they put on the additions in 2000? Correct. Okay. So the whole new section was put in in 2002, 2003 when they did that. But the old section was so from 1990. Yeah. So that's what qualifies for the, for the grant funding through MSBA. Um, right. So we, they did a round of cuts. Like they get so many applications every year and we made it because it's due to the age. Uh, so now with the next round, they came up with it to take some pictures. And uh, okay, now how much of that would they give us? Is it 45, 50%? They don't tell you. Usually that's usually that comes up between 45 and 52%. On a good day, 80%. Yeah. On a good day. It be up to 80. <laughs> yeah. But we're supposed to find out uh, in October. October, they're supposed to let us know. Maybe December would be wonderful. Yeah, it would be fantastic. Right. Right. Except that's, that we're on the hook for the high school because the 1.7 was the two grade schools and the high school. So we would be on the hook for that. I don't know how much that was. I can't remember. Could we do this? Could we go to four schools? All right. So I know the elementary schools were looking at roofs, we're looking at the siding, and we're looking at foundations, right? Those Correct. Yeah. Correct. Right. Right. Do you know what the total cost of that is? Yeah, but not off the top of my head, but I can get that for you. Okay. Because of that. Obviously, if we're going to get part of the money for the roof, I guess we want to know, and you guys obviously yeah. want to know, what yeah. it's going to cost and how much right. how much grant money we can get. I know, I know she's working the, the, the work on the foundation is, is about 500000 approximately. For both yeah. of them together? To, to do both we'll do together. Both together. 560 right. was the quote. 560. Yeah. So, and we had given, we had, we had, the finance committee had given them 90 because that was the original quote. And I said yeah. at the time, I hope I'm wrong, but I think it goes down to You yeah. better stop being right. I know. I don't want to be right about right, the so foundation. We're at 560 for the foundation. The right roof, we're not yes. sure. Yes. How about the side? Do we have a number on the side? 460, I think it was what? 230, 230? The building. siding for each building. That was the last quote that we had. Um, I think the last time meeting were appropriated five and some change to, to address So that. we're roughly at just those two things about a million bucks. Yep. Correct. Right. And then we got the roof. Yeah. yeah. And that was a million seven back then. We're, we're hoping that the state will Here's the quote. some of it. I have received just recently from Garland Roofing for our uh, for all the schools. Now, I take this with a grain of salt because middle school is fairly new. Six years old. Doesn't Doesn't we have a forty year warranty. You don't have to worry about the middle school. So we're looking we're looking at the two elementary schools that are a little over one million. Did they to get those up to we have to fix them, whether we keep them right. or not, they gotta yeah. be fixed. It's oh, an right. asset. It's, right. an, it's asset. an asset, right. and yeah. I've been through this many times yeah. with the Joslin school. With the wooded school and the DPW yes. and the building in the front, we didn't take care of them and we lost. Yeah. So there's no doubt in my mind that we have to. You got to come up with the money and that, that's a given. Yeah. So the middle school, the, the main issue is the roof. Yeah. No, there's no issues with the roof. Oh, okay. a forty-year warranty. It's got a forty. Oh, that's okay. included on this quote. When the gentleman came on, said, "Oh, you know, I need some repairs." Well, again, I take it with a grain of salt because it's not a warranty. We have a so forty-year warranty. There's right. no cost of the roof. No, right. Not Are true. there any other improvements we have to make in that building to keep it? Safe and to keep it, you know, up to standard so we don't lose. Middle school coming down the road. It's it's an aging building. I mean, it was built and uh, opened in '69. Yeah. My main concern, I'm not an engineer, but with the age of the building, uh, what's behind the walls and what don't you see like for, the, for the plumbing and things like that. So at some point we're going to have to do a feasibility study, right? right? To do exactly. an analysis of the yes. building. Yeah. We're not ready to do that just yet. Right. And they would incorporate that would incorporate how we could reduce the increased cla uh, classrooms because we have labs in, the, in that building because it was the old high school. And if we kept it as a, as a middle school, it would not need those uh, those large rooms. So that a whole the whole building yeah. internally could be reconfigured. But right now we're at one point two one million with the and we're going to do a feasibility study on the other. How about the high school? That needs a roof. Uh, Half the roof needs to be done. It was back in 2016. Yeah, half right. was done. The other half needs to be so done. So is that coming out of our pocket? There's no warranty or grant money for that, right? Not that I'm aware of. No, no that's that, that well, estimate is on now for that. Why wasn't there a warranty on the high school roof back when they built that? 20? 2002? 2002. 2002. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think I'm 20 years old. It's 20. It's 20. So, um, so we're looking at a million, a little over a million to fix that roof. Am I reading that right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. To fix half the roof. So that's absolutely dollars. right. Yeah, but a million dollars. dollars. So there's another so, scenario. Two million. All right, we're at two million, but that that will take care of the immediate needs. Right. Exactly. Yep. Right. Exactly. Yep. That'll that should be good for the next four or five years. Yes. Correct. And then in that time, we can do a feasibility study on the middle school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. not as bad as I thought. It's bad, but it's doable. 
If we get some grant money, we can work something out. You guys go for grants, I, I, and I, I, I want to preface this by saying, yeah. I understand one reason we're getting the grants right now, so many, is that we have the staff to do it. All right? So maybe you guys don't have the staff to do it. But I, always I know you work with Jack, but you have people that are trying to get this business yeah. too long. Just, Justin's applied multiple times to MSBA. Good. MSBA. Right. Yeah. Good. Uh, a few well, years back, we did the middle school. Good. Um, now the elementary schools have taken priority just due to the right. roof leak, so that's yeah. why now we're pursuing the elementary. That's uh, middle school taking a back burner. That's fine. The bigger concern is again down the road, like you say, uh, throwing good money at bad. Yeah. Middle school is a, is a growing concern. I mean, it's going to be a boiler one year, the next thing it's going to be something but else. Still, but to build a new school like that, you're probably talking all well over 100 million. Yes. Yeah. And if we so if we got to put 20 into it and get another 20 years out of it, right. but that'll be part of your feasibility study. Right, right. You can retrofit that building. Absolutely. Reduce and I do class know. Size. I do know. And I, I was the first class in that building. If you look at the left side of the building, right. Yeah, that's easy. Hey, that left that's side in the town of Oxford is the Oxford Middle School right now. I, I, structurally, I don't think I don't know from what I understand that school does not have a lot of issues, other than no. age. Yeah, right. Age. That's a, that's a structure. But I know the left side of that building, they had the, the eighth grade was in with us, and they had they had their own section. Eighth grade, yeah. they would shift to, to what the John was talking about. Yeah. Where if if you ended up with two schools, you know you could take that side and use that for the little kids, and then add on a little gym or something. Well, part of the feasibility study, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I understand we've got immediate needs of around two million bucks, and you guys are going to be looking at the next four to five years. What we're going to do. And, and my only concern is on those immediate needs. I hope they stay at two million. We don't know I the foundation yeah. because of inflation. Rebar and cement, yeah, at the five six on the foundation, and it's not critical that it has to be done this year. It could be done next year. If you know what I'm saying? Because it's not the building's not going to fall down. Whereas the siding's an issue because you got water. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So that's got to be done at the ASAP. And you got to you got to do it when the kids aren't around. You got quarry checks. You got laborers. Yeah, you got to look around the children. You got to and the noise, uh, banging on the side of a building with kids in school. So it's a it's a huge logistic issue. So what? the first thing you're gonna do, are you gonna when you're gonna do what are you gonna do first? The roof or the side? Side, 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 side. Get done And that's the big unknown you, thing. Yeah, that's not, that's you the guys have already appropriated the capital money right. for it. The money's very appropriate. The money's there for that. Uh, we just got the court over the summer for the uh, foundations. So we've already funded the money for the side. Yep. yep. Right. So now we only gotta worry about funding the money for roofs, which we might get. And the shortfall on, yeah. on the and foundation. The okay. All, yeah. right. All right. Well, I, I'm encouraged by the fact that we have a plan. Yeah. And we do have some money. We're applying for grants. You know, my main thing, I, I've lived here my whole life, and the town made the same mistake over and over again. They didn't take care of the buildings. Mm -hmm. And like I say, it's $100 million to build a new one. And, uh, yeah. you know, as long as you guys, it sounds like you guys are on top of it, and thank you for doing that. But uh, it sounds like we've got to come up with a couple of million bucks right. minus whatever we get for the aid. And yep. I think that's certainly doable. Back up a little bit. We do have about thirty thousand. I want to say it was appropriated a few years ago uh, for feasibility at the middle school. It's actually for the mm -hmm. uh, asbestos floors. Um, but I've been thinking, you know, maybe we want to repurpose that, maybe get some more towards it to do a uh, feasibility for uh, future planning, just like you're talking about. Um, again, in our mind, in a perfect world, I mean, if you have one campus Absolutely. for all the students, it, it take care of some transportation cost issues. Yeah, yeah. Then um, we go back to the classroom. Security issues. Security issues. Right next to the police station. There's a, right. there's a lot of reasons why it's a good idea. You're on sewer. There. Exactly. Yeah. Question on JP School. You do the siding first. Have those leaks in the roof ever been fixed? Because I worked there for five years, and five years in a row it leaked. Four then. Which section? By the cafeteria? By the gymnasium? No. Those. those so. We're told it's a combination of both the wall and where the roof meets. The valley. The, where, where the cafetorium kind of sticks up above the intersections. It leaks yeah. like a sieve all around the whole, that whole section. That and whole it still section. does. Still does, yes. We've had uh, minimal so five years ago, I bought ice and water shield along with siding to do that whole area, which never got done by your uh, boys. And I was willing to go and do it myself because that's what I did for a living. So we talking facilities. Yeah. So yeah. So, so you should have lights and weather shield and siding to put down and come up or to stop that leak. And then you got the leader agreement. So that's still leaking, and we're going to do the outside first and have all the water keep pouring into the 
middle of the main hallway? Is that what you're telling me? Mm -hmm. if, that, if that's leaking there at the cafeteria, mm -hmm. yeah. you're going to have all the water keep pouring right down by that door. All the time. And you're going to do the siding without fixing it. The some, some of that, I think, has been mitigated. There's a problem where the, the cafeteria meets the hallway. On the, when you walk, not at the entrance, when you walk down a little Correct. bit. Correct. That's where it's the worst by the other end of the cafeteria that we showed you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's but that's been like that since only, 1954. Only when it really rains hard. Okay. That building was like that's not a new addition. Yeah. That building was like that since 1955, 56 yeah. when that yeah. building was built. Yeah. This has been an ongoing problem from day one when that was built. Yeah. Okay. You don't know this, Mike. No, I don't. Okay. You're yeah. new to all this. Right. I've been in these buildings. I right. worked in every one of these buildings. Right. Okay. You're going to put siding on before you fix the roof. Makes no sense to me. You got water gushing in right there. Right. You got water gushing in down by the gym. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. they can never fix it. I've had more people in there to try to fix this. Right. Justin, you might have not known because you weren't there, but the other guy was there when that Hamburger was there. Yeah. Well, we need a new roof. Never came up. Never came up. We need a new roof. So it makes no yeah. sense to me no. as I don't know about you, Dennis. I'm a builder. Dennis was a builder. It makes no sense to me to yeah. side the place without putting a new roof on first. Right. But we are doing both, though, right? Not at once. Well, not no, at once. Right. Siding right. first. Yeah, so so when you move down, you're going to do the siding. Right. You're going to go up and you're going to side on the windows. You're yeah. saying do the roof first. Of course. It makes sense, sense to do the roof first. Step on the top down. 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 You're going to have mold pouring in, which you guarantee 100% you got there already. On the upside and the inside. Yeah, I mean, so you got to look at it. We haven't done anything yet. I mean, we've appropriated, you know, money for the siding. Right. Correct. But you oh, know, uh, it's a, you appropriated the five hundred thousand for the siding, I believe. Yeah, yeah it was four. It was yeah, two two thirty and two thirty. Yeah. And when yeah. you're looking at the roof, a, um, a million dollars of whack, right? Correct. And that's half of the roof. Oh, the whole that's just for half. That's, that's just, just for half for metal. from the old section, the old section of the building. Okay, oh, yeah. so, what are you talking about? I thought the roof for the two elementary school was going to be what do you say? A million, two million dollars. No, I thought the middle school. was. No, the middle school, that middle school is not to be in the warm. What's, the, is, what's yeah, the cost of the two high school? Yeah. This is 1.1, uh, according to this most recent quote. For both of them. For both elementary so schools. One and a half roofs for 1.1. Correct. That was my. And then we're yeah. going to do another 460 to do the siding. And that doesn't include yeah. the high school. And then we're going to do another roughly 500, so it's roughly $2 million yeah. to do both schools. Right. So what, what we, they have, a, they appropriated, they're going to get the money to fix the roof. I think what you're saying is fix the roof first, fix the roof and then do the siding second. Common sense tells you to fix the problem that's leaking. Mm -hmm. We know where the leaks are. That's too many doesn't include that. <laughs> <ice. laughs> right. We always know the siding is terrible and it's just yeah. falling apart. I don't right. know why anybody would be put masonite yeah. right. for siding. That's, that's, that's another issue. Is that being yeah. far right. off? It's so, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. The height lines, I look at right. it every day from there. Yeah. You know? And now we so have a so library is like the library when they pulled off and the library wall started to come at migrate at them and they had to stop everything but they just did a year ago I, we're going to find this we're going to find moisture yeah. we're going to find moisture damage I won't use the other m word i'll use moisture behind the wall with all the water that's been pouring in there over the years sure that's a new high school no i'm no, talking no, about the great school, school. Spoken it's just on, on the uh, great on chafee and, and bark all that all that from that siding and, and the roof leak on Chapey and Barton over the years that you just mentioned has been right. an ongoing thing. When we pull it, yeah. we pull the blanket back. Right. We're not going to like what we see. That's what we want to draw. I would be. I think we're just going to look at the audit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're roof first. I mean, I want to be wrong. Where you, you, you are, right. where you are in the the library, you said it is outside the library, right. and the wall that's getting all the water. Not is where the gym hall meets with the hall for within. Yeah. And it's been like that for many, many, many years since the building was done. And Consigula, who built those, I believe it was Consigula, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Didn't do a damn thing for hours. Patch, patch, but you know something? It didn't work. Okay? I'm and just worried that we're going to find it's a can of worms that we're going to find that we're, we're in. Are you going to find a major can of worms? For a dime, we're in for a dollar. We're going to be in for a dollar. You're going to be in for yeah. yeah. Make this it's two million closed, is not going to be enough to scratch the surface if there's. It's a closed there's, cavity that's been getting what he is. Right. But so what do you think you're going to be there? What surprise? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now we're now we're going to be looking at millions plus 
where are we putting these kids? Why why that's why that's going on? We're running trailers, and now cha ching cha ching cha ching cha ching. I don't know what we're, what, what's in front of us. I hope it's not a freight train. That's all I'm saying. I want to be wrong. I was hoping I would be wrong with the foundation. I wasn't. Now, Let's put it this way. Found, the foundation's been cracking in the team. Yeah, but uh, they said 90000 would fix it. I said, no, it's not. And you know it, and it wasn't. It's half a million dollars. The can, can of worms exists. Yes, really. Right. We don't know what's but that in was that can of worms. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we know we got right. $2 million. It wasn't and, and by we don't know what continuing a conversation about the can of worms that we don't process. Right. It's a process, right? No, I know that. Yeah. I agree right. with the putting the roof on the yeah. the order of repair of repairs um, has you know legitimacy. But talking about the can of worms, we don't know until we open no, it. No, I'm anxious around. to find out. And right right now, we're going to fix the roof. Right. We're going to fix the siding, the outside. We don't right. know what's going to do on the inside. We're going to fix the foundation. Right. We know, right? We know what the cost is. They're going to look at what auto will do, right? They yeah, absolutely. Mike, Mike Lucas has a, has a guy coming to, to do an yes. analysis. They're going to pull the siding off. So we're going to know pretty soon within the next few months, or maybe yeah. the next few weeks. It could be four weeks. It could be by by, by fall. We'll know okay. what's behind the curtain, so to speak. Right. And here's the, here's the good thing I want to say. For years, we had a management that didn't so take care of the gymnasium. You know, stuff you don't take care of with right now, it's stuff that you don't take care of This is stuff that you didn't take care of 10 years ago. And it's good to have an administration, whether it's the school or the town manager and stuff, we're addressing these issues and we have to address them. Mm -hmm. Spending two or three million dollars now is a lot better than spending 60 or 80 million dollars to build a new one. So again, we have to take care of it. The good news is, where somebody's got the guts to send, we have to take care of this. We have to do it, like Paul said. We'll go to the next stage. If whatever we got to do to fix the inside of the building, we'll fix. we have to do it. But people have to understand this is not an issue that was brought on by the current school board <laughs> or the current town administration. You know, the town has had a history of doing this, it's kicking the can down the road, and that's why we end up building a new school every year. Had, That's why we had, build a new police station. That's why we had to build a new fire station. So in the long run, spending the money now is going to actually save us money. And if we decide to go to three buildings, and we sell one of the buildings, we'll get that money back. And then some, because of the fact that part of it's going to be paid by the So I think we're all on the same page. Just look into you know, the roof first instead of the, the siding and whatever makes sense. I mean, gotta, I'm not going to blame the school department. No, we're not blaming anybody right not, now. Trying to figure this out because you know, every year, just so you were here, we had meetings and we told the problem, but we did not have the money to fix the problem. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, I mean, there was so many band aids that only put on mm -hmm. people are all helped on. Yeah. Well, thank you. That's good you brought it up. Now we'll yeah, now, look at now it. there's another issue with the schools, and that has to do with the old uh, coffee buildings. We, we have, there's nothing funded. You, Gave them back to the town. Now it's the town's responsibility to do something with those buildings, whether tear them down or not. And that's nowhere in that, our budget right now. No request has been made, but there's there's a dollar amount associated with that gift you gave us back on what we're going to do with it. Whether Thank we, you for giving us that. Whether well, we fix them or, or whether we fix them or tear them down, there's a dollar amount which right. we don't have. All right, my flags are here. Okay. Do you so hear that, Mike and Justin? I want my flat stone back. I donated all that stone from that stone wall. I'll take that back. I'm building a wall of my head. Come over and help me build my flat stone. <laughs> big money. Yeah. At the quarters. <laughs> going up, going up not. He wants to get paid for that. I'm going to get my wall. I'm taking back my wall. Come over and help me do my wall. And, and the flagpole for us. No, oh, that's not cool. Anyway, just a quick history. Yeah, we uh, turned that back to the town back in 2019. We're not from the program out of that building anymore. The program's changed. Is the it's, building being used now? No. no. It's vacant. So it's going to end up just like the building in the back. If it's not already two hundred sixty thousand dollars to get rid of that because it has a correct. Correct. They they had to do same deal electric system because same you have a greenhouse. They bought that from Treasure Island. Treasure Island. Yeah, That's the lake they're going to build a hotel, oh, and all those units yeah. were those steel units for the hotel, uh, and they scrapped the deal. And the school committee went in, and that's when they covered that was, was Dr. Crystal. Treasure Island. Treasure Island. Right. Yeah. Dr. Crystal. Frank Rock over there. We're all up there. I just think it's the same building. I'll, as I'll tell you what, though, that building is asbestos free. 
Can they move those? I don't believe it. It's, it it's, it's, it's already been tested. Many a time. Project Poppy is a specimen. Maybe they can sell them. Otherwise, I'd I hope you're right. Yeah. I hope you're right, too. <laughs> it is. But I guess not we'll look at it. No, I guess it's just another cost yeah. that we're so sure. I was, yeah. We said it was a specimen. I walked around with these guys. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, this and, is the foundation uh, that's got asbestos over here. It's not the building itself. Oh, that's the foundation. The foundation has it, it. Actually, in the foundation, it put asbestos. So you got to tent it, then jackhammer, yeah. put a mask on. It's 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 in the valley. foundation. They, well, because they, well, it's so raised, they didn't bury it. They're going to yeah. jackhammer. Well, I asked them, I said, why don't you bury it? But it's, it's I don't think that they sound very good at bone well, we can, well, it does. It's it's a a yeah, we did say that. It's, you can't, you now, can't even bury concrete. Yeah. Never mind that. All right, so that's the project coffee sense. buildings are going to be next year. Or yeah, well, that's it's money. That's I know, but saying. we got to let's deal with what's yeah right, right now. So the, there's there's two million plus an unknown factor, which we'll probably know in a month or two. Okay, that unknown factor. And, all right, and I then whatever half the whatever half the cost of the middle school is. Okay, it's not. But going forward, it'd be nice, like you said, Justin, to have one footprint. Down the road, absolutely. Yeah. It would help on busing transportation. It would help on, you know, I, I, you're on sewer. It's, you've got common fields there. You've got facilities. You've got land. So it's, it, it would be a good fit in an ideal world. Huh? Did they get the price on doing a whole little, you want to bid on Put a patch job on it. I, you know, I'm not in favor of that. Not if you're going to do a roof, you do the whole damn roof. You put a patch on it. We're going to end up with the same problems again. You mean the oh. elementary schools or the high schools? Yes, school? the elementary schools. Okay, you got a roof that's a 1990 roof, right? And you got a roof that's a 2000 roof, right? 2016, right? No, no, that's no, the high school. No, 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 but you are putting on new roofs, right? No, only half of them. It's only the the old section of the building, not the entire building. Right, but the half was was a new roof at one time. It was Shovel, or was it? No, back in 1990 was the last time it was done. Right, but the new part when they did the addition, okay, it was a patch. Yeah, okay. You're gonna yeah. have problems. I mean, you should do the entire and roof. No, nope. we haven't brought anything forward at that's this point in time. We've applied job. for funding for the job. That, that, that's all. Yeah, the, but you know what I'm saying? That's only a qualify. I agree, but the only thing that qualifies are the roof that's 30 that's years the age. old. Oh, MSBA is too young. Because it's too young. And the other half, young, the the other half will come out of us. Right. 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 The right. full cost right. is right there. I can't right. see what I'm, my eye comes. Like. Why does the full cost to have the roof done on that? He wants the whole roof done instead of half the roof. Yeah. So that's job the costs are one point two million. Two old roofs are one and a half. That's the one and a half. It's just a half. So what would it cost to do the other half of the roof? I'd have to add on the So again, I guess we're asking, he's asking, you're asking to look at the whole thing. What you're talking about? Sure. I mean, it's only more money. It's I don't. Money, it's it's, out of the tax it's, money, so it's so more money, it's, but it's makes sense. It's a problem down the road again. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get away with it for this year because of the next year. Oh shit. We're gonna. The thing is, we gotta go somewhere you else. You lose the whole room in forty years. You don't worry. Right. You're right. Born, you know? You're done. So we're actually helping you spend more money. So we're saying. I think you should look into it. And by the way, the floor looks beautiful. Thank you. Who, who did we have to the guy that I got? Or school? The middle. Middle school. Dave C. Oh, sent me a picture of him. Oh, oh uh, the guy that did the high school. Yeah. I don't know who that was. Uh, the company's called Gymnasium for the uh, place where, in Boston. Where are they at? Out of Boston? That area, yeah. Because yeah. I don't know why I had it. Was it was it the guy who did the patching for the middle school? No, no it was a different guy. That was somebody. Do you want to set cost on there? Well, there's a balance cost here uh, for, Ch for Claire Barton for 760 and then for Chafee, it's four sixty, and then the high school, which we're on, we're on the hook for. I've got a million sixty, a uh, million and sixty thousand. Then I got uh, two other shingles and wall panels for thirty five. Do I add that all together? It's my understanding those wall panels are the uh, the panels that need to be replaced on the elementary schools. These are on the high school. Oh, excuse uh, me. I'm done. Okay. You got wall panels and yeah, and, and valves. And shingles. Yeah, that's one shingles. Thirty-five thousand. Really Here you got four sixty and oh, seven sixty. That's all yeah, we have. It it is. Is. The ones that I have circled here, the MSBS that's all have would be yes, after that. that. That's I mean, I don't mind. Eighty percent. You spend the money, but everything else is it's an investment. We don't have a plan. So the high school would be a million ninety-five thousand. The roof, the new look down the time. Everything else. Yeah, that's saying you know within the next five years this stuff needs to be done. 
If you're going to throw a million dollars in the siding and you're not going to repair the entire this is more absolutely years, no right. sense. Which means timeline. No sense at all. We don't disagree with it at all. Again, we haven't done you know, anything. That's, you know, sure you want to it's a bad, oh, absolutely. You know, that's just me. I don't oh, know how anybody else is going to hear about it. I got you. Because they're going to, it's going to cost all their damage in fur. Right. We have, it's just, it's just, it's just like a domino. You know? And now we have, also getting money. Moisture issues. Well, your favorite saying, you're just chasing your tail because yeah. You, yeah. you patch this side and then yeah. wait until this comes to 30 years or whatever. It's required. It's already, is it already out of the warranty? The other, the new pot? The yeah, 2000 pot? Is that I don't have warranty? any information on that warranty. Most rooms you get at least a 30 year warranty, out of my understanding, but I have no information on that one. The only one I have info on is the middle school room. That's the warranty paperwork I have. And that's 40 years, and that's why only six or seven years exactly. old now. So, so we're all set with that. That's why I say don't even look at the middle, middle school, school roof is all set. Good. So, all right. so right. let's I mean, look at doing a whole roof at the Winston Chanty School. Or, uh, which one are you going to protect the roof from? Both of them. It's all the elementary school. schools, the old section of roof. Yeah. That's what we applied for the grant funding to have. Then hopefully they can pick up eighty percent of it. Okay. That'd be uh, great. They, they, the they will do the whole thing. They can singular do. They're the ones that built the yeah, from here two right. schools. They can singular put the rules on. Like, the right. 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 Right? Yep. Three of the four schools will be weather mm -hmm. for a little over, maybe let's say two and a half million for 40 years. Mm -hmm. Right? I, I mean, right. that's a pretty damn good investment. I think. Wow. We probably won't have to go for a debt or so, that's, so, that's how I would do first thing. And then well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're taking all the capital money, you'd have to go for a debt solution. Well, yeah. we'll have to see. Maybe we go at every couple of times. That's up to you guys. Speaking with uh, right, right, right. Right. Yeah, have to go it'd that. be a borrowing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No matter what, even with MSBA funding, it's yeah. a borrowing. No matter what. So. The other, uh, the other part of the town government the, has needs too. Were you, had with the, you weren't here with the little kids' school being built, right? No. You were over here. Yeah. The town hall. Or you weren't even. I wasn't even. I was in college. Yeah, okay. I'm I just wondering who was the, the singular due to rules, so who did it? Why we don't have knowledge on the warranty? There's got to be something. If it was built in 2000, like you said, it's usually a 30 year. Um, yeah. I guess, where is it? Where, where is our warranties? Who handles those? Does the school handle them? They got buried over there. They could have. They could have done. You're absolutely 100% right. right. They could have. And so we're going to. I mean, it's only concerned we look into We could probably be sitting on a warranty well, for that other half still. Yeah, right? We could have. Uh, but maybe Jarrett look into it or Mike look into it. And no, oh, yeah, the perfect. Yeah, Mike look into it. Right. Yeah. I think I mentioned it to him the other day when we were walking around. He's going to look at the. He made a note of it. But follow up with Mike. It could be hearsay, but I mean, if there's anything on the high school. We talked about the warrant. Mine is like the, the, they went belly up. Like they went out of business. That's, okay. That's yeah, the high, the high school. school. Right. I'm not sure if it's the same for the elementary school. No. I the think that is still in business. Yeah, that, no, that's not good. That, yeah, that, they are. But this is the other outfit. Oh, the four, yeah. Didn't they have four guys, five guys filming in high school at one time? Yeah. I went to the old high school. That's huh? Wow. I think they did, honest. I know the first guy who did it, they did go belly up. And somebody else came in and they got, they, you know. Did oh. they sell all the loom too? Yes, mm -hmm. they did. They sold all the loom off? And we had to go buy it. We had to go buy it. Yeah, after the uh, yes, holes they, in the sprinkler yeah. system. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we put extra yeah. money to get some wells so we could sprinkle it. Yeah. So, but again, right. unfortunately, we're dealing with that now. Oh, okay, we're kind of going going down a rabbit hole here, you know, memory and land, or whatever. Um, so if we can kind of come full circle on this, so it, is Jared also involved in in the planning for the, the building, or is this? It's my understanding. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be going out to bid for the site. Yes. Okay, because I feel like we had this conversation with a meeting with him about you know right doing the roofs before doing everything underneath. So it sounds like you know we kind of have a, a, a plan somewhat on its way, but yeah. if if the roof money hasn't been allocated or whatever, I think you know we gotta we gotta get there, right? Right. Um, yeah. And I know that Mike is my discussion with him the other day was that he was they were having a consultant come in to check, see what's behind the walls and yeah. siding, and find out that that's all that we're looking at and we're good, and they were gonna do something. Roof, but I think you were talking about more 
RT was the issue. So I would follow up with Jarrett. Yeah, like, well, Mike works for Jarrett, so. And was it the same company that did the high school, that did the two no, elementary no, schools? No, that no, no. Okay. So, so maybe there is a chance that we can find some I'm just trying to think. Team. I don't remember what they, when they built the gym before they put the Mason right up, what was behind that. I know all on the it's the fine. rest of the school is all three quarter inch B room down the road, yeah. and then they put the masonite over that. Yeah. They never they never throw that yeah. down. You know what we're dealing with there. Yeah. So you're looking at where the main part that the masonite with that three quarter B room was. We're hoping we're not going to get rocked, but I'm not sure about where the gym the gymnasiums are because underneath. The hat overhangs, that's all three quarter inch wood. That's you should be catching right there. Okay. And probably won't get it on the patients. Oh yeah. On the patient. I thought they put foam, put that three quarter inch foam board on. They, and they went over that with the side. I, I that's what I heard. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Didn't they do it? Wasn't that a thing back then anyway? Instead the of putting one. Yeah, they put that two inch foam. Right? Yeah, they yeah. put that on it's and then put the siding over there. Right. Outside it's I, I don't know if that's it. I mean if that was foam, then you're probably not gonna have when that panel fell off uh, you last year, yeah. you know, we put a plywood. There was nothing behind it. It was just uh, the hard materials and then ground like a hardwood. Oh, like that wafer board stuff. Yeah, that, that's oh, what it looked like. Oh, what's it? The there was no foam. Did uh, they use a structural panel? Uh, it could be that wafer board. It's, uh, they built my house back in, and that's what they had. Instead of, they put plywood, yeah. they put this, it's like a fiber board. And then they put the side, the shingles right over there. There's no foam that I saw on that oh, one a, section, yeah. that one piece. So it might not, I don't it know. Might not happen. <laughs> That'd be expensive for structural panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. yeah, well, that's going to be an unknown. It's going to be an unknown that we'll know in a few months. So again, in October, we'll have some more information if we're going to get any MSBA funding on the elementary roofs. Yeah, we'll and, know uh, what the, what the, what's behind the We'll have a much better game plan as how we want to. No. October seems to be where we'll know. So you're working on it. That's good. What it's going to cost and go from there. Because we could split it over two years, too, right? If you could do the foundation one year and or do the roof one year and the foundation. Foundation could wait. That's what I'm saying. What if we put all the money in the roof and the siding, siding. and then do the foundation in a year or two? Again, we just throw this out. That's up. Yeah, that's right. absolutely. That's what we do. We plan. Like I said, we couldn't get a straight answer on how long the foundations are going to last. It's going to last another 30 years. We don't Nothing's know. Nothing's sinking. They right. saying it's sinking? Not yet. No, it's, it's, it's just no. cracking. It's not at, the, nothing at, sorry, at, at the end, the last part of the wing, the last hundred feet, that's where the foundation is the worst. So you, you're getting that down at the one. Well, you got that one. Yeah. Yes, so, I, I see that. Yeah, yeah. You get that run. So, but that's, but that maybe that's been like that for five with the yeah, water. Like I said, it'll, it'll, it'll wait. We'll take care of the foundation. Yeah. It'll it'll wait. Wait. Possibly. That's been up there like that for easily 30 years. It'll it'll wait. Wait. I think how it sinks down like that and that corner like that. At least we're dealing with the issue. Overall, the buildings internally look beautiful. I mean, for yeah. the wear, for the age, you know, 1954. I mean, come on, you know, we got our we got our money's worth out of the building. Let's not. I, I wouldn't want to spend more money, but I'd say put new doors on the middle school, not middle school, but back in. We did just have uh, part of that great community's grant the LEDs installed. Yeah, yeah. done yeah. all the hallways at both elementary schools, and then the uh, weatherization with the blue insulation. In. You know, they don't want the green community doesn't want us putting any more LED lights in. They want us to do other green initiatives. Oh, the doors. Yeah. So that we can do she something that grant for that. appeases them. We get the money. Yeah. She just got another grant for it. They're going to do all the lights, all the LEDs. Yeah. LEDs. Mm -hmm. all from, yeah, she just we heard we got the, there's a grant funding. We don't know what the project is. Yeah. So. But the green community wanted us to do less lighting and do more like heating and controls and that kind of stuff. The right. Yeah. right. They wanted us to start. Moving away from LED lights with their money. It's their money, so yeah. <laughs> we got they gotta do what they gotta change their priorities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah, okay, we'll take the money and we'll do what right. you say. Right. All right, let's see if we can move along here. Um hey, thank you guys for that. that was welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for inviting us. Um you know, let's let the people that are in charge of this stuff actually actually yeah. do it. But yeah. hey, you know, like we said, the idea of, of you know, getting roofs on first. I, I, I'm pretty sure that we had that same conversation with Jared. So, you know, I think that you know, we all kind of agree that let's let's cover things first, and then you know, like John alluded to, uh, on 
very afraid that we're going to come up with a, uh, another good feed once we start, you know, pulling siding off or whatever. Yeah. And that's going to be a little bit bigger. We, so, uh, last year we had a very heavy two or three days of rain, and the way it was explained to me was that part of the problem is it is coming through that siding. So oh, I don't disagree. Oh, it's so, sucking it in. But it was yeah. sucking it in, and it was causing rain to come through and into the hallway. We'd have the buckets out and stuff. And the conclusion was it was actually, at that point, not the roof. It was the siding. Yeah. So I think that's what moved the siding up as the priority. Yeah. Was there reasons for it? So, the nails are all popped on the side. Right. And, 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 and they're starting to fall off. It's, and there's places the we went yesterday, you can see the crack. So now you, you can see the crack. Oh, oh yeah. You, and, 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 so, they're, and it's they're alarming. Black. They're colored. I mean, they're yeah. not like... They're cracked, and you can yeah. just see the blackness in the cracks, just you know, well, standing on the ground. Look up. So that's kind of why that got moved as a priority. Yeah. I think was because of what happened last year. Remember, last summer was so wet. Yeah. We had so many days of rain, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. part and part of it was the sideways out. rain. Pouring. Yeah, and of course, the direction. Correct. Right. That's where right. we had. That's where we had issues. So I think that kind of moved the siding up as a priority. Was what happened. Well, you guys well, sound like you were on top of it. Yeah, we should, we should all on the funding and on the condition of the of the buildings by October. It looks like the two the twenties will meet in October. Yeah. We'll know. Yes. Yes. And that's our next meeting, right? Generally two months. Yeah. Yeah. But we do have an out, right? We we could if we had to put extra money in the roof and the side, we could let the foundation go for another year or two. Maybe. We think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna look into that. Yeah, I think I think yeah. We're looking for a more definitive answer on that. I think Mike's got another. Just to be clear, it's not the, the foundation currently and cracking. It's been going on, as you said, for years. years yeah. It's not a safety issue. No. I just no. want to make sure everybody Not a safety that. or a health issue. Correct. No, those, we're those, those, are. those Correct. buildings are soft. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think the big thing we want to address is we don't want to be throwing you know, good money after bad, like right. we've right. done too many right. times. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. So, you know, if, if we have all these problems that are caused by water, let's find a way to stop the water first. Right. And then fix yeah, fix the other thing. Right. And then clean up. Yeah. In fact, you know, you're right, because Jared used to, he called that the envelope. Yeah. Now that I remember, he did say that. Oh, I don't remember the conversation. Yeah, I yeah. talked about the envelope, yeah. which is the roof beside. I know that Mike's got the consultant. He's it's had another consultant to go give us an updated price of the foundation. So I know he's working on that. But follow up with him on the, on the warranties. You know, when you have your conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I'll give him a call tomorrow. Again, I don't know how far he is with the bid process of the siding stuff like that. Well, the siding is, is, is in process right now. Right? Right. The guy's out on vacation. You have another guy. They're all busy. He had a, another architect was supposed to, so he was looking to see if he could get his friend, another architect. Hopefully he's coming in next week. To come in next week. Yeah. 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 Okay. Does anybody have any other questions for Mike? No, thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks for having us. Guys. Guys. We, we appreciate this. Appreciate this. Glad you guys are on yeah. top of it. Nice Sorry, meeting you know, instead of having a phone call with you. Yeah, there you go. I see you owe me a coffee. Oh, I won't forget you buried me up in coffee. <laughs> so don't lock the door on me. Take the money instead of the other one. I'll drink this coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone's I'll just leave the dog. What kind of coffee are you drinking up there, Justin? See, it's engaging. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Keep us posted, Justin. Hey, all right. See you soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Stay seated. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, thanks for joining us the other day. Did you enjoy the one? See you later. Thanks. Tony, where you been? Yeah, what are you doing? Very noisy. Trying to back your back. Hey, Bernie, you were up, man? That was good. I was talking loud with you, Dan, my man. It was productive. It was good. That was good. Talking over the fan because I can really hear that. All right, next on the agenda, goals and targets for next meeting. Um, does anybody have anything that they want to, uh, want to bring up? I know they have the um, feasibility study working on for the middle school, for the uh, community center, right, Tony? Yes. But that's not anywhere for the community report or anything like that. Not that I'm aware of. That's the next thing, Roger. I guess they got coming up. Is that, uh, they're doing a feasibility study for the uh, community center and looking at what, what what's the best use and all that other stuff. So, and I know the library's got a water problem. But Still another one? Well, yeah, they haven't. There was water seeping through the the bricks on that. They have to deal with that at some point. Supposedly, it's not as bad as it is in the schools, but it's going to have to be sealed. The five-year plan that's out there right now for the, for, for the library is right at, at today's 
last year's price was eight hundred thousand to do the to do the two sites four hundred piece and they decided to do the library to bring up both sites. And it's eight hundred thousand sitting out there right now. And our five year come capital request. Is that for a seal or no? For that's for like all to replace all the brick. Okay, the two walls, four hundred thousand each wall, a total of eight hundred thousand. They're that's gonna break it up. They're gonna do one one year and then another one. Another There's eight hundred thousand sitting out there. That's a lot of money. I mean, when you look at your capital program, which is like two two and a half to three point two million, uh, take eight hundred here, you take eight hundred here, then some, somebody comes in and says, "I want a police car or something for thirty five thousand. There's no money." <laughs> you know, two million. Yeah, but they said there might be great money for that too. Yeah. When the window leak. We had to fix the window. That was thirty-five grand. We got a grant to do that, so it's not full. But the economical process that was discussed tonight was like fix, fix what you can now and don't half fix it. Absolutely right. 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 Fix the whole thing, and you have at least a forty or thirty or forty-year warranty right. covering that investment, right. whether it holds up or not. Whether we keep it in ten years, well, or whether not. it holds up or right. not, yeah. it's not. But why we keep that building, or we sell that building, or we need that building, doesn't matter. We got to invest in it. We we own it now. We got to take care of it. It's just smart. It's smart right. spending. Mm -hmm. You protect your assets. I mean, not chasing. What, you, what, you what, like what, what you do with them in the future? You're not chasing your tail. Right. You're not trying to fix stuff that that just keeps. And I got to tell you, apart. people in town will they won't be happy, but they, they'll consider it because they are, they're smart enough to realize that if we don't do it. And it may be a hard million. Million. And, 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 and the people that have been here a long time know what happened to the Jawson School and the Wooded School, yeah. Wooded School yeah. and the fire department and the DPW and the building in the front. You know, so where are we with the It's now happening for the community center. Uh, that's a good now happening for the community center. center. What are we where are we at with the town garage? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, and that, you know, in all honesty, is a corrugated building. Which one? The one down at the end of Pine Street. Where are you talking? Oh, the DPW you're talking about? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, that that doesn't have, there's not a lot of maintenance you can do on a corrugated steel building as it rusts up. Right. Right. Um, it, it has a shelf and, life. And it's locked up. And, yeah. and when it's done, yeah, it's done. done. Oh. Well, and that's it works. The, 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 the little gear. The one in the front <laughs> is corrugated. No, the Correct. actual. Building so they house most of the uh, equipment. Block, block. That's a block. Yes, right. That's the one that burns down, right? No, we're talking DPW, right? Yes, got yeah. it. Right here. Yeah, there's yeah, two yeah. buildings. One is a, a, one's a spot 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 building spot. that's going, and then one in the back, the original the, one. That's the what DPW burned down. It's a front building. Went to the ground. And that's a steel building now. Is there a steel yeah, the one in the front. Yeah. Yeah. The other one that got, but the other one back in the back was the gate. The, right. the guys that worked the main building actually that. built that. Oh, so right. And it's just, but that's all the problem. That's good no, issues. Yes. Yeah, the problem is if somebody was to call OSHA right now, yeah. Yeah. they would that we would be uh, they, the guys would be out in the street. Yep. Yeah. Thirty two guys would be working in the street. They condemn yeah. that building. It's not yeah. safe. And we publicly, publicly announced yeah. that. Yeah. So everybody in town the was there, heard it. So it doesn't, it, it could be any one of us or it could be somebody out in the street, make, drop a dime and we're out of business. And now what do we do? And that serves the whole community. I know that we're talking about the schools here, which is, you know, about 11% of the total population of 14,000, you got 1,500 kids going to school. Okay, 11, 12%. Well, he the, the DPW serves the whole 14,000. He didn't mention how many they have this year. Did he? Do you know what? Yes, I do. I I got them from Justin. It was fifteen hundred and sixty-eight kids, and we have one hundred and forty-one going to Bay Path. So we only have fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred what? Sorry. Fifteen hundred sixty-eight. Wow. Now he says he filled the buildings up. Well, they're putting thirteen kids in a classroom. Yeah, I didn't want yeah. to push it. I didn't want to push it, but but he's not going to be able to put thirteen kids in a classroom because right. he's having a hard time finding teachers, and they're negotiating a labor contract right now. So. I don't know. And they're not finding math teachers. They're not finding ELs, LLs teachers. I mean, they're just not out there. If I could stand kids, I'd come out and be fine. I well, I try to get my wife to go there. No, I've been with that for many years. Yeah, I've been with that for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to go ahead and see the way with the cabinet making up that PayPal? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, they got rid of small engines. They're buying them from China. We really went down. Yeah, I know. All right, Roger. Where's the great? So I have five minutes. 
two What's quick things that kind of dovetail. Uh, I lost one of them. Can we just get a quick two second update on uh, where the open space plan? Sure, sure. So we'll thank you. So we'll be um, launching that uh, next month. Okay. Uh, we have CMRPC on board, and um, we'll be setting up a community survey too later, uh, later this fall. Um, we'll be convening an open space committee yep. uh, in the really near future. Well, that was something that was on a mass. That was on a mass. Yeah, I've got that. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, I mean, the thing, the thing about it too is because we didn't have the current open space plan. Yeah. You know, we we had some funding that we could have gotten that was rejected. Oh, well, good. We're working on it. This is awesome. Yeah. So but we designated all the areas for open space. Exactly. Uh, the plan. Exactly. So we had updated that plan, and we'll be on track hopefully a year from this point to apply for grants for whatever the town sees. Um, and then the last thing was uh, recreation property. Um, it's kind of a big topic in, in some circles, and it is others. Obviously, you know, we have an aging community in town. But, you know, all the folks don't really care about it. Um, we talk about, you know, we want to bring younger, um, you know, younger families to town or whatever. So, um, you know, without beating the stump on that too much, um, you know, I, I've seen things like you know, the money that was appropriated for sprinkler systems, for example, is kind of a hot button topic lately. Um, I, I saw something the other day, somebody was complaining about the water cannons that were on mm -hmm. in the middle of the day, which I can't disagree 100% with that. Um, you know, it's probably not the best time to be watering and things like that, but that's kind of above my pay grade. Um, but when you hear rumblings about stuff like that, um, you know, I think it's kind of important that, that we a, remind people that they, you know, they voted for infrastructure, you know, when we, when we had these master plan meetings, um, you know, early on, that was, that was a big thing that, uh, that people, you know, wanted, wanted us to commit to. Um, and, uh, you know, some of the discussions I've had with folks in the past is like, why do we need you know X hundred dollars for irrigation up at Little Field? Well, we we kind of live in a, a town where the, the culture is what have you done for me lately? And if people don't see things that you know are paying some sort of dividends, you know, it's kind of a it's kind of a big deal. Um, so I try to remind people that, that there's there's things that um, that will help, and it's not immediately noticeable to everybody that doesn't have kids playing soccer up there or doesn't look at the softball or whatever. Um, but that is a, a community space. And not only that, but we also have opportunities to, to kind of make it pay for itself eventually. But we have to get it up to a certain level before we can do that. You know, a few years ago, when the fields were in really good shape, we had a, a premier club, for example, go up there. And they were actually renting space up there. Well, that rental fee was then turned into you know seeding and, and fertilizing and things like that instead of going and asking the taxpayers again to open up their wallet for something that um, I mean you guys have been around for a while remember it um, you know we turned those fields upside down uh, at least three times it was two hundred thousand dollars that we do and you and you and you, Roger, no, you you and others donated your time three different times. So we lost the revenue, we lost the use of the fields, and you guys sweat equity with your wheelbarrows, your parents and, your, and all the parents of the kids. You went up there, sweat equity, three times over 10 years and replaced those fields. And, and not only that, but it's also, and, and you know, I know Dennis knows this too, we had to take those kids and move them somewhere, somewhere else. else. So then you put an added, uh, you know, added use on other fields and, and you know, beating the crap out of them, and then they become unavailable for School or whatever. And it's just a, a, a it's like a dog chasing his tail, right? Exactly. But you know, Roger, you make you bring a good point. We have to we have to put the irrigations in. in it. There are certain people in town, no matter what you do, they're going to have to come. Yeah. All right. But by spending a hundred thousand dollars on irrigation, we're actually saving a ton of money. Because I do remember Sepatelli did those fields yeah. several years ago. It was two hundred thousand dollars. You couldn't use the fields for two years. We spend a hundred grand. 
those fields are left indefinitely on, on a sprinkler system, will continue to use them and make money on it. And unfortunately, there's a group of people in town, you could tell them that, and they're still not going to get it. Yeah. So you're not going to convince everybody. I think the average person realizes that it's important that we do stuff like It's part of the maintenance program. It's just like taking care of our buildings. And I, I, I think I've talked to a lot of people. People yeah. call me about it. And yeah. then, oh, well, well, that makes sense to do it that way. So. But, but if, if we, if we, I mean, I know there's a there's a handful of people that are just naysayers on that. Right. No matter what. But, but even even the general public, uh, for the most part, like I, you know, I've talked to people that I consider you know, fairly yeah. sane and reasonable and rational, and they just don't know. But when you tell so them, so what, well, you tell them what right, I say. Right. And that's that's part of our job is to get the word out. And, and that's, this is why that's we do it. That I'm and that's, yeah. that's what I'm making a point that you, you of, of, it, of all people know with your sweat equity, what you yeah, what you did, in there. volunteering. Yeah. We did over the years, Keep and that's one of the things that, those that we're trying to do. This is just to get that out so people know. Listen, people aren't gonna like to say we have to advocate for ourselves. I mean, there's no people gonna say oh, two million dollars to fix the schools. You want to spend a hundred million in ten years to build a new one? Most people, like I said, is that group of people. No matter what, and you're not gonna you're not gonna get them. It's too bad, but it's the way it is. I think most people are like you said. You sit down, you talk to them. Yeah. This is why we're doing so. I'll, I'll the, 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 the problem, though, is that, that folks have that kind of Twitter, well, that's, uh, you know, no problem, whatever. Right. There's not much you can do about so, it. So we, we got to find a way to, to condense some of the stuff. I mean, John could talk numbers for hours on end, right? And I love listening to him. Yeah. But the average person is going to listen to him talk about time value of money, right? right. So, yeah. um, you know, we got to be be find a way to get the word out concisely. And, I was shocked when I looked at the indirect cost that Katie put together. I mean, you know, what the indirect cost of health care for the teachers. Oh, no. When you look at our budget, the biggest part of the town budget is health care. Yeah. You know, yeah. $8 million, and you look at it, it's 18%. Well, half that half the health care in the retirement is the teachers. Isn't They're there a large... way like in 10 years? This all happened because they did away with the, the county government. Oh, yeah. Right? The so we the retirement. We, so yeah, I think it's liability it, on the retirement. Is side. it like 10 more years? Or remember at least that? I mean, if we ever get out of it. Yeah, it's 10 more years. But the, the other thing is the health care. Their, their, their medical plans. Town pays for the teacher's medical plan. The state says it's indirect cost. So here's what I did the other day. I said, well, Justin gave me the numbers. He said, look, the state says direct cost is $7,830. We're going to give you $10 million, which is, comes out to about $7,032 in change. That's what the state's going to give us. You're going to pay $7,830 per student. $1,568 the average tax bill in this town is forty five hundred and thirty dollars. So you take the difference between the seventy eight, you take the and you multiply it by the fifteen hundred and sixty eight. You do the same thing with the hundred and forty one pay pass students. When you add those two short numbers together, and you're only talking direct costs now, you're at you're at five point seven million dollars that we're not our tax rate is not covering that right now. Now you take the six million dollars in indirect costs. Okay, now you're at you're, the tax rate on direct cost should not be sixteen sixty if you cover the shortfall. It would be nineteen dollars and seventy cents. But if you take the indirect cost of six million and add that to it, the tax rate should be twenty dollars twenty two dollars and thirty cents, not sixteen sixty. Because this and it, the schools done have done nothing wrong. It's the state that says that's why you go out to Brimfield and stuff. They're all original schools. They don't have a town uh, government. They don't have a, a police department. They don't have a fire department. They can't afford it. And kids are on the bus for four hours. They got everything is regionalized because their homes out there are less or more affordable. But the state bases education funding on afford, on, on real estate assessed value, and that formula is flawed. They should be not giving us ten million. They should be giving us twenty five million, another fifteen million. So our budget should be forty five million a year. It should be basically sixty million a year, twenty five, not ten, coming from the state for education. Chapter 7 plan because we're too affordable. Justin told me that over 45% of the kids going to the school right now are economically disadvantaged. So that means the parents that are that, that, that are sending the kids can afford to live here. They're economically disadvantaged. So we're affordable. So that's why I talk about 40B. You know, we don't need 40B. We're an affordable community. But it hurts us when we're trying because of the state formula on funding our education based on the value of our homes. Our homes are not we don't, we're not, Bobcraft doesn't live here. We're not Brookline. We're not Wellesley. And ironically, he
He doesn't send his grandchildren to public schools in Brookline. He sends them to private schools, but he pays. He's got John Henry. They all live, they don't live here. We're not. We don't have new car dealerships like Auburn. We don't have uh, malls. We don't have the their their uh, uh, real estate. Uh, their uh, 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 levy is our budget. Their their levy because they have a two tier system is forty four million dollars. Auburn. Our budget is forty five. Just their levy is forty five. It's forty four million. Yeah, the yeah you know, I'm just saying. So <laughs> that's what we're talking about, how we're going to do this stuff cost effectively. And that's why we're talking with the schools. Because if you add all the direct and indirect costs from the schools in our budget and take the state's $10 million away from the 45, that's 35, we're at $17 million, $6 million plus the 11, 17, that's 60% of our budget. Goes to, goes to about 11% of the kids. I mean, I, you know, and we're, we're struggling for the town garage. We're struggling for a rec center. We're struggling for a fire. We're struggling for roads. How the hell are you ever going to get out of that? Uh, you, you, you can't get blood out of a stone. That's the problem. All right. I look at these numbers. I just want you guys to know, yeah. looking at these numbers, we're talking about communication. So we got to get the word out. We How do you get the word out? out of the people? And, and, that's, and, and that's, you know, that's a great point. And that's something that, you know, we've, we've talked about before. I mean, you know, perfect example is... Um, uh, I, I went to uh, spend a day with one of my grandkids in the uh, Republic of Cambridge. And um, <laughs> you know, this, this is kind of a perfect that's, example of what you're talking about. They have, they have a park there. This, this thing is gorgeous. It's, they, they took wood from Fresh Pond. It's all made of wood. They had the, I mean, it's an artsy fartsy town, right? They had these uh, craftsmen go in there and, and build it. I mean, they would love this stuff. They, they like, handcrafted this thing. There's a wooden handcrafted xylophone. Oh, that's better. Okay. <clears throat> so I went and looked to figure out, you know, how much this thing cost. And I want to say it was, um, it was 40, 40 some million. And I'm like, oh, so what the hell is that? So my son lives here. He lives on the corner of Fresh Pond. His house is worth almost twice what mine is. And he pays uh, one fifth of what I pay in taxes. I'm like, what, what's the deal with? We have Genzyme. Yeah. We have Harvard University. Yeah. We have MIT. MIT. Yeah. You know, that that's the difference. So we can't. You know. You know. People say to us, um, and this this comes up a lot. Why can't we have the field of dreams like you know what they have in, in Harvard? You know, they have these turf fields and whatever, which I don't like turf fields anyway. But all of the story. Well, we don't have a benefactor like Dr. Pappas. Pappas and that you know. Yeah. So but, so. so, so our struggle is constantly going to be we have to juggle what we need versus what we can afford. If we can get more business in the community, because 20% of our tax rate, uh, the tax yeah. money comes from, from businesses. We get more IPGs. Now the logistics center just got voted down. There you go. That would have been a million dollars when you figured in the personal property tax, all the forklifts inside, all the computers, all the racking, plus the real estate taxes. It would have been a million dollars. We need right. to get hey, some smart growth. Let's not, let's not go down that. I know, I'm just yeah, saying, I, mean, right? I know you're on the planning board, I'm just saying, oh, yeah, that's but my good. point is, we need businesses, we need, our, the target should be to grow over the next five, ten years from a 20% business factor to 30. Every year, pick, add another two or three percent, and that role wasn't built in a day, but if we could get 30%, so we're not a federal community, strictly, we, we, it, that would help. Well, what happened right. to it? We got, so, we got. so, moving on. Um, so recently we've had, you know, Jody, Judy Lochner come out and you know, gave us a new presentation on the, uh, the, the trail system. Uh, we've had, um, you know, Jerry come out, uh, you know, we had the school department. Is there any, any other department board or whatever that you guys would like to, you know, entertain bring in for, for one of our meetings to kind of catch us up? I think once the feasibility is done on the community center, center right? yeah. that's, that's, that's that. That's yeah. Right. yeah. But I don't think we've been ready for that. And you know, whatever they do there, user fees will never cover the operation of the community center. And they know community center. So whatever they decide to do as far as on building, whatever, the shortfall, when there will be a large shortfall, will fall back on the taxpayers. I mean, you're not going to, there's no way you can charge people a fee of like $1,500 a year to join the these facilities at community center to cover the cost of the operating the building. So it comes back to the taxpayer, whatever they decide. So, so two things that, that I, I thought of is either um, have uh, 
Joel Mazley, who's the chair of the Rec Commission, will come in and, and talk to us about well, what he sees as, as needs for, for Rec, or um, I don't know, somebody from the PMA Center. Uh, anybody have a show? Well, come in for us. Yeah, 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 Joel, come in. Yeah, I like I like to see. I told told him last time he was in the Affordable Finance Committee, and I mentioned the other day to Jared as well. Why don't we have uh, fenced in horseshoe pit areas up in the little field and maybe box ball courts for the grandparents? They want to take the grandkids up there and they could have a league up there. I just, you know, if you, in other words, serve the other demographic of the community, you know, the elderly, yeah. you know, horseshoe pits fenced in and, yeah, that, and, and, and a box ball kind court. Of, kind of a moving target, John. We, we, I joke about this, but it's not really that funny. And Tony knows this. Um, we, we had done, we actually had a, had a consultant come in. This has to be 15 years ago. Uh, it was at, at Al Gonzalez was still the uh, chair. We had someone come in, and we came up with a five-year plan that's now 15 plus years old. Um, and one of the things up there is you know, historically, it's always been like, I mean, for years it was softball, right? Right. And then it was softball and soccer or whatever. And you know, I, I think it should just be a community use. Well, they put the disc in. So, so, that, that so I, I'm action. up there all the time. And the condition of that field, I don't think anybody can use that for for any sport because you would rip your your legs open up. There's no there's no grass. It's it's burnt. That, that, and that's a it's dangerous. If you, you hit a softball off of that, it is not going to react the same way as it would with live grass. Soccer, like probably, but. But, but that's all we put in the water. So, so if I can, if I can just finish that thought. Right. Um, so, so this plan that we had actually had things like walking trails. So, you know, yeah. grandparents go up there to watch your kids play soccer or whatever. They want a safe place to walk. Yeah. Um, you know, there was supposed to be kind of a tree area in the middle. One of my pet peeves up there was um, for years. I don't know if you guys remember, but the playground was literally on the edge of the yeah. ground. Yeah. And, and at one time, parking was like right there. Oh, and there's a swing yeah. set there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I finally got that. It was supposed to be moved. It ended up being removed and never reinstalled. Well, that, well, that's going in this year. It's, the equipment is there. You know, Jared's got it, got it scheduled to go in. Um, so, anyway, it, you know, that, that's something else you can get out um, and, you know, talk to Joel about it. Try to get both to, to connect with you, Tony, um, because again, that actually comes into the open space plan. Well, that, that, you know, when I was on the plan, well, we talked about that, that this open space thing, we can get money to do stuff like this, right? right? I mean, up to $200,000 yes. a year. That's it. So this is, that's the importance of the open space. We've got one grant. Now we get the grant. Now we get two hundred grand. Now we can put it into, you yeah. know, the stuff that people want to do. I mean, our big money. A horseshoe pit and then crush stone for a bocce ball court. I mean, you're you're talking you're talking short. Training. I think it's a great idea. I I have a lot of questions. Put some benches out there. Okay. And we're going to get the money to add them. They do anything with the basketball court? That, that's another thing that's been under discussion. So let's get Joel in here for our next yeah. next meeting once once we schedule yeah. that. All right. So moving on. Let's. Uh, so thanks to Tony, we have some uh, some minutes that were. Um, we looked at obviously missed and not approved. Um, one of them going back to 2018. I don't know how many members were actually still here back then. Um, so, oh, yeah, that's um, the last one I have is February 17th. I got 18th of November. Right here. So we we should, we should have our yep. yeah. yeah. um, yeah. Gino Rodgers was on there too. Right? Yeah, yeah. Gene was, yeah. was there, Mark Lee. Okay. So what are you looking for? A motion to approve it? Uh, please. Well, first discussion. There's a second to the last paragraph on the first page. You can read that and tell me if that makes sense to you. I might be entering you know, early stages or something. 
Nope. The only reason I picked it out is because it says it to me. Yes, it <laughs> noted that the alternative to doing nothing, which is contrary to the master plan. Yeah. Mr. Cunningham stated discussed issues that have arisen due to rain coming up with quality oh, to cross filter policy. out of wetlands. I have no idea what I said it and I have no idea what that's saying. What are we talking about the um well, it's 2018, it's October, so it's after that unprecedented summer of rain we had. So I, I know it was about that. Stormwater management. I think that, that's what Jerry said. When we talk about stormwater management, and I think you were talking about different areas of town because of the soil, uh, what it would make up that the runoff is different. I think that was four well, years it is. Ago. So maybe that's what you were talking about. Well, it is. Well, it's, it has to do with. Um, like stormwater numbers. Yeah. And the importance of low impact development, low impact design. So like right. to that. Yeah. Examples right. of that, maybe. I'm happy to, of course, reword it. Um, no, I, I, I mean, we're talking about low impact development. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's a, I, there's I, a I variety of pervious materials and versions. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of impervious, the, you know, tar, concrete, et cetera. Well, you can improve the minutes with that change if you want to just change the work and quality of the minutes. Yeah, yeah. make it sound nice. Make me sound like I was changed today. Well, I remember the discussion had to do with what you're, you know, about water. Low sounds low impact development. Oh, yeah, low and impervious. Well, pervious surface and impervious versus impervious uh, surfaces, right? Yeah, just make me sound smart and I'll be happy. Well, we got to kind of tell them how you want to work so we can. Yeah, I, th I think it's just strike state and then change the quality of the policy. Maybe you do talk more about I like kind of having to stay in that. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Any other changes? Strike there? stated. What else did you say? Uh, change, change quality of the policy. Oh, yeah, policy. I don't know what to cross filter out wetlands means. Low impact development is what we're talking about. We were talking about like um, the uh, trees and things like that down uh, on Chapel Street in that area. And we were we were talking about how we filter out the wetland areas so that we can use them still without damaging the habitat. Well, if you're talking about like like taking out limbs and stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's where I thought the policy came. We were trying to come up with some sort of a policy or a plan on how that could be done. Because not people yeah. come to us to the conservation, uh, it, it's happening again. I was going to wait until October for, for when. Yeah, if you, if you look at the next, um, the next paragraph, that was actually. Well, how about if we did this? Right. Mr. Cunningham stated, uh, discussed issues would be arisen due to rain coming up with a policy to cross filter off wetlands. Eliminate the next sentence, and put, he stated that a conservation commission, along with Judy Lochner, are working on measures for low impact development. Does that work for you? Just yep. get rid of that sentence. What do you think, Roger? John Paul agrees with This is October. You weren't here, so you can't say I, I, no, I, remember I got nothing to say. I know. This is October. <laughs> well, she, was, she was here when she had the whole map. We, we, we went through the whole, the whole map. I make right. a motion yeah, that we right. accept the minutes as written with the following change that we put Mr. Cunningham discussed issues that have arisen due to rain coming up with a policy, change the word quality to policy, to cross filter out wetlands and eliminate the next sentence. And then go with the last sentence being, he stated that Conservation Commission, along with Judy Lochner, are working on measures for low impact development. That's my motion. Sure. Second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? 
I make a motion we accept the minutes uh, dictated on November 18, 2021, as written. Second. Any discussion? There being none, and a vote. A vote uh, yes. 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 Abstain. Okay. Any affirmative, one abstention. February 17th, 2022. I'll make a motion to uh, accept the min minutes of February 17th, 2022 as written. Right. Second. That was second. Who was second? Yeah. Who was second? Yeah. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And finally, minutes of May 19th. I entertain a motion to approve the minutes of May 19th, 2022, as written. So moved if you're entertaining. Oh, excuse me. I'll make the motion. I'm sorry. Second. Uh, <laughs> all right, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 By walkers. So next next meeting, uh, we'll make it October. Uh, stick with the same night. Yeah. Yeah. Is it third Thursday? Third Thursday. So. Oh, you still can't. I have to talk to them. It's by wetlands. That's what I was wondering. Uh, actually, I won't be on. So seven is good for me. Okay. I mean, don't, don't, I don't want to dictate the time, but if you need to do it earlier, do it earlier. So can we change it for the 7 o'clock for you? Anyway? Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's October what? Third Thursday would be the 20th. St. Rock Cemetery is the hill with all the water across down in the hole. Yeah, they cut right, down yeah. trees. It's all we got to drop. Yeah, yeah, before Steve gets all his. Uh, this one I'll we'll we'll do it after. Yeah, it's not on. Not on. We got a motion. I make a motion. We adjourn. I already said. I second it. Adjourn it.
All in favor? Aye. 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 The Patriots on tomorrow. Aye. Aye. I continue to read. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>